So if you're watching this, then there's a good chance that you're either new to the Football Manager game series or you've tried playing the game and you're finding it a bit of a struggle, a bit too complicated. You're wanting to try and get into it, but it's not really letting you and you need a bit of help. Well, in this video today, I want to give you guys some tips for beginners or struggling players that I think are really gonna help you all out. Not only to be successful, but most importantly, just to enjoy the game more and to make it flow a little bit easier for you and not having to make it a kind of stop starty experience. My name's Ash or Brummer18, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell down below to get notifications every time I upload. On this channel, we cover all things like a football manager, FIFA and football in general and we're going to be kicking off our football manager tutorials content really lots more tutorial videos coming your way for FM23 so as I say check the channel out and have a look for that content make sure to check out my patreon as well you'll find lots of fantastic perks and rewards on there we're going to have some good football manager 2023 perks on there as well so please do check that out great way to support the channel and with that being said let's get into the tips so the very first tip I have for you for the PC version comes before you've even loaded up your save or begun your save. When you are setting up the save, you'll come onto a screen like this. And one thing that is going to help you with regards to simplifying the game and really helping you to just settle down into it is this little feature here. It's called Disable Player Attribute Masking. And you should actually select this if you are struggling. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so that the attributes for every player are no longer masked and hidden. You won't have to thoroughly scout them. The attributes will be there on show so you can have a quick look at them. And this is gonna streamline the scouting process for you considerably. It's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna help you to search for players more easily and find the kind of player that you are looking for. Now, some people might say that this essentially renders scouts useless and why would you need them? This is absolutely untrue because what you aren't going to see from having the attributes unmasked, and as you can see here, we have Masaccio's attributes unmasked, is then the scout will then bring you this. They'll be able to tell you kind of the more mental side of the game. Things like fairly consistent performer, you know, does he enjoy big matches? What are the kind of nationality how will he fit into the social group and the squad and the dynamics of that they'll also be able to give you these star ratings which are extremely helpful help you to visualize that more and in particular something that you can't see from the attributes is the potential what is their potential like are they going to grow are they going to be a wonder kid i guess so this is a really good start uh, to helping you settle into football manager second tip that is an absolute game changer for people who are too daunted early on and think they have too much to do that is this tab here responsibilities if you go into the staff tab and then click on responsibilities you can go down here and as you can see you can delegate everything and everything to your staff for example if you don't want to hire the youth staff you don't want to go about the under 20 staff and all that you can simply delegate and set someone else to do it. In this case, we've got the director of football, the technical director, managing director all on that. The same with things like scouting, for example. A good thing to do for beginners is to delegate the assigning of scouts to someone else. So in this case, we've got a director of football. He will assign your scouts, send them on assignments, and those scouts will then simply just start suggesting players gradually throughout the season and your entire save. And you're able to do this for a whole host of things. The most important one is training. You can delegate the kind of training to your system manager or any of your coaches. And this means that you won't have to have that kind of daunting experience, which some people do get early on seeing this and feeling like it's a bit too much too soon you can send that to your assistant manager and he'll deal with that and he'll set the training routines and this will simplify the game for you twofold third tip on the list is on the very first day make sure that you decide on a tactic that is very very important because this is going to uh, then dictate your transfer policy for the rest of the transfer window it's also of course going to be that steadfast for when you go into pre-season friendlies etc and it's just going to pave the way it's important to get that out of the way done and then it is kind of there ready for you and it's going to again formulate your plans for the rest of the transfer window fourth tip on the list which plays into the third tip of deciding the tactic on your first day i would always advise new players to use a system with wingers now why is that because let's say you get you know a couple of months into the season and for example let's say 
you've decided to play a, a narrow system. You've gone for uh, something like this kind of a, a free back with uh, the two strikers. You've got the wing backs, etc. You're not playing any wingers. Now, let's say it isn't working for you and the results aren't good. You want to change your tactic. Oh dear, all of a sudden, you're in a bit of trouble because you haven't got much leeway for that. You've sold all your wingers in the transfer window because naturally you didn't need them uh, and you don't have any at the club now. So if you want to change to a system with wingers all of a sudden, you're not going to really be able to do it. And there's a very limited amount of systems and formations that will cater to wingerless systems. Whereas, let's say, for example, if you've been playing 4-3-3 uh, free, free, and then you find that it isn't working... All of a sudden, you can then switch that around because you've got the players for all different areas. Maybe you want to go to a 4-2-3-1, for example, or maybe you want to try a 4-4-2. You can do that. Or if you then wanted to go to a wingless system, you can do that as well because whether or not you're you're playing that kind of 3-5-2 uh, or, or the 4-3-3 or whatever, you will still have the players to go to that wingless system. Whereas if you start with a wingless system, you won't have those wingers. It's unlikely that you'll keep them around because you won't need them. Sticking with tactics, fifth on the list of tips for you guys, beginners and struggling players, is one that's got a little bit of baggage around it, particularly, I guess, amongst YouTubers and content creators. But this is something I would advise anyone and everyone struggling with FM. Download a tactic. Just download a tactic. You can find them on the Steam Workshop. You can find them on really handy websites such as FM Scout or FM Base. You can find people who've uploaded their successful tactics. They'll give breakdowns of it. They'll show the results that they've had. And you can go through them and, and find a successful tactic. There are plenty of tactics out there that will either work towards just being as successful as possible, winning as many games as possible. They kind of cater towards the game engine. Or there are other ones that are just fine-tuned to maybe the way you want to play. Perhaps you want to play that kind of tiki-taka extreme possession style. You want to play an extreme gig and pressing system. You can do that. You can find out with the tactics. And this is something I did for many, many years until such a time came where I felt comfortable kind of playing into the game engine and working out my own tactics. And honestly, there's no problem with it. There is no problem whatsoever. If you want to download a tactic that's ultra successful and you're going to win the majority of games, you're going to be very successful with it, you do it. Enjoy the game. You're not harming anyone. And honestly, it's a very popular method. It really is. I can assure you, you're much more likely to enjoy the game if you have downloaded a tactic and it's working very well and you're winning the majority of games, you're having success. And then if you find it too easy, then go for the challenge of creating your own tactic and go from there. Sixth on the list is squad view. Very, very important. You come into the squad tab and you will generally be faced with something like this, the general info. You want to make your own view. Now, as you'll see here, I'm using the kind of Bromer squad view, my own view, and this is the custom view that I use. And in here, we have these kind of things. We have the age, we have the wage, the contract expiry date, nationality, positions we also have the assistant manager's opinion of their star ability and also their potential ability then you've got the likes of condition sharpness morale and some various stats etc this is very important because it's going to mean that you don't need to use this tab here the squad planner you can look at this and, and find it very daunting find it very confusing you don't need to use it honestly with this squad view this will help you plan out your team just fine you can look at it in many ways let's say for example you come into a club You've got bad financial situation, you need to try and balance the books. With this squad view, all of a sudden, you can just click on wage at the top and you can see your highest wage earners. So maybe I'll look at the likes of Viktor Kovalenko here, for, for example, who's on the third highest earner, £50,000 a week. He's currently out on loan Spezia. I'd be looking at that thinking, you know, we need to try and recall him and then just try and sell him and get him off the books. Um, the same with someone like Alexi Miranchuk as well. You can also be able to look at the contract expiry date. So here I can see we've got a fair few players whose contract expires at the end of the season. The likes of Luis Muriel, for example, Palomino, Sportiello as well. Also got a couple of players who are out on loan. You know, you can look at that and go, okay, do we need to ship these out because we're not going to renew them? So get something for them now. Do we need to renew their deal? It's going to allow you to do that. And it's going to allow you to plan your squad and visualize things a whole lot more easier on the one screen, not needing to confuse things over overly. So this is really important to get that squad view. Seventh on the list is friendlies. Play them. 
For anyone who's coming over from, say, FIFA or, or PES, for example, career modes and master leagues, you might be used to simming friendlies. In Football Manager, I highly advise you play them. I always play my friendlies. I've always done it as well. Unless I'm on a, kind of an online save and we want to skip through it a bit quickly, that's fine. But in your offline saves, I'd highly advise you to play friendlies because what it's going to do is, one, it's going to allow you to get a feel for the team, feel for the players, particularly if you're into a new club. Um, and then you're going to be able to work out who's good, who's bad, how the tactic is going, etc. Two, it's also going to enable you to manage sharpness. The best thing to do in the friendlies, and particularly if you've got five or six friendlies, that's really the, the good ballpark number that you should be aiming for. What you then do is you have one team play the first 45 minutes, then make 11 subs at half-time, and have the next team play the, the second 45 and you keep doing that for every friendly. And then by the time the first match comes along, you'll find your players are fairly match sharp, if not completely match sharp. They should be at a good level. Whereas if you leave it to your assistant, sometimes it's not really coded very well from the AI and that they can mess that around a little bit. And you find players aren't really match sharp come the start of the season. So just play them, really is valuable. And the ninth and final tip on the list, something that's very, very important for me and in the game in general, that is if we come into the scouting reports, you are looking for consistent performers. If you see on a scout report that this player is an inconsistent performer, avoid. Just flat out avoid. Do not sign them. You really are looking for consistent performers always. You're going to notice it in the match ratings, in the performances a whole lot more. Now, sometimes you'll find in the reports, it will say a player needs to work on becoming more consistent. That's okay because you can develop that. You can mentor them. You can train them. You can get their performances going. They're probably a young player, so you can do that. But if it says flat out, this player is an inconsistent performer, just swerve them completely and preferably look for players who do have this consistent trait and you are going to find an enormous notable difference so that rounds it off for my tips for beginners and struggling players if you've got any questions please do not hesitate to let me know and any tips for those of you watching this who maybe are kind of hardened veteran football manager players throw them in the comment section down below and we really will appreciate that i've got a whole lot more tutorials coming your way for football manager so please do hit the subscribe button ring the bell so that you get notifications every time i upload and you can see them and check out the channel for that as well don't forget to check out my patreon the links that down below we're going to have some football manager perks coming there in uh, the upcoming days and weeks and months really and also check out my twitter the link to that is down below for any of you who are looking for a video games fix you can check out my video games podcast you'll find the link in the description and in the comments section me and my pal ash who have done some episodes on football manager as well um do a video game weekly podcast and i think you guys will really enjoy it if you are into that with that being said we're going to round it off there so thank you so much for watching and until the next one i will see you soon Thank you.